I, I have I'm a, a person of diverse interests, but not. Yes, you are. Um, I'm not really very academic, but I'm, I, I glit from one thing to another a lot. Glit. Mm -hmm. It's like flip, but it's um, it's the so, 70s version. One letter later. Uh, Do you want to be understood? You know what I mean. That Ziggy Stardust was uh, nothing to understand. Man. David Bowie's career began in the 60s, where he started performing in different bands, and it was in the 70s when he transformed into his most popular alter egos, Ziggy Stardust and Aladdin Sane. These characters are a huge reason for Bowie's legacy. Ziggy Stardust and Aladdin Sane rooted from his interest in science fiction, art and theatre. Bowie introduced makeup and flamboyant costumes, ranging from tight jumpsuits and tie-dye suits, which pushed boundaries and astounded the nation. Through this artistic expression, Bowie celebrated genderless clothing and adopted an androgynous aesthetic. He was the creator of glam rock and helped push the rejection of gender norms, which has had a huge effect on today's culture. I didn't strive for success, I strive to do something artistically important. However, after this period and due to the demands of his career, the star declined into a cocaine addiction, leaving him pale and skeletal. He created the Thin White Duke, whose style was much more conventional than his other personas. Bowie performed in monochrome outfits, particularly a scruffy white shirt and a black waistcoat, and from there adopted a dark-natured vampire look, which reflected his mental health at the time. He was said to make very bold political statements, approving of fascist ideology and comparing Hitler to rock stars in an interview. However, he bounced back, explaining it was part of his role as the Duke and it does not reflect his actual views. His controversial fashion was the start of the glam rock subculture of the 1970s, alongside the hippies, bohemians and punks. Bowie fans would dye their hair vibrant orange with feathered sides in admiration of him. He was known as one of the most diverse and unique stars during the height of his fame. The v &A Museum hosted an exhibition of Bowie's most iconic camp and psychedelic costumes. This turned out to be the most visited exhibition in their history. His overtly camp performance outfits made it clear that he was free and confident in himself and his sexuality. Coming out as gay and later on bisexual, Bowie became an icon for the LGBTQ community, both in the 70s and following through into today's culture. Bowie's fashion has certainly influenced fashion today. For example, Eddie Slaman's design, which was inspired by the Thin White Duke. Jean-Paul Gaultier also brought a Bowie-esque collection to the runway in his Spring Summer 13 show. With the astonishing hair, vivid contrasting makeup and cosmic silhouetted jumpsuit, Ziggy Stardust was reborn in the modern world of couture. Designer Pam Hogg also created several Bowie-inspired outfits, rooting from the galactic boldness of Bowie's 70s styles. As well as inspiring designers, Bowie also collaborated with designer Kansai Yamamoto to create Japanese-inspired outfits for his Ziggy Stardust tour. Supermodel Kate Moss modelled the Yamamoto jumpsuit for British Vogue in 2003. Further collaborations include Alexander McQueen's Union Jack coat, which he wore on tour, as well as the Bowie Vans collection, with prints of the Aladdin Sane lightning bolt and Bowie typography across the shoe. <laughs>